Right, so one of the first jobs we've got to do is to remove the battery covers that are sitting on top of the battery banks. Now I've already got one set off uh, on the left hand side, on the uh, on the starboard side, but we're going to try and get the poor one off, which I think is going to prove to be a bit more difficult. I actually don't understand why these battery boxes are even there. I know you've got to have, a, got to, you've got to have your batteries covered to pass commercial survey, but these battery covers are just sitting on top of the batteries. Um, they actually don't do anything. so. Anyway, we'll get them off, um, see what sort of batteries we've actually got. Uh, I think I know which ones I'm going to replace them with. Um, it looks like these are six, sorry, four six volt batteries wired in series to give us 24 volts. Obviously we're, we're working with a 24 volt system. All right guys, so this is the battery box we're gonna try and remove. Um, you can sort of see, oh yeah, sorry the light is just terrible, but you got four six volt batteries basically lined up. This battery box I'm assuming is supposed to go on this base plate here and be fastened down, but we've got this makeshift timber panel that goes over the top of the batteries, which I'm assuming would to house and retain a different type of battery system originally, but they've just made do and just stuck it on top. So anyway, we're gonna pull this sucker off and uh, see how we go. Wish me luck. Guys, battery covers off, and well, look, it's just a really awkward position to try and get some footage of what we're dealing with here, yet alone with no light. So you can sort of see we've got four six volt batteries, each wired in uh, in series uh, to give us 24 volts across the system. There's a date on the batteries of 2015, but these batteries have to be bloody a lot older than that. Um, and I've just done a voltage check across across the bank. And these are sitting at about 22.8 volts so and they're just not retaining any charge so time to go in with a new system hopefully we can get something that just fits a little bit better into the into the current bank but we will uh, we'll see how we go carry on so the next step is to basically disconnect the batteries uh, now when I was taking the battery cover off it's something ideally I should have done before I started that in case I arced anything and caused the dead short but uh, without any light, it gets very difficult to do. So I'm a risk taker to a degree. I thought that was going to be all right. Um, but now we're going to pull these batteries out and get them out of the boat and uh, go from there. Alright, um, this is the empty battery bank now, again, look, it's very hard to shoot this because we're in, a, in the corner of the engine room. Um, overall, the actual tray looks in pretty decent condition. Uh, there looks like to be an old rubber mat that's just, you know, obviously had a battery acid and God knows what spilled over it, so it's gone rock hard. So I think we'll strip that out. I'll just get a grinder onto the rust 
uh, take that back, get some phosphoric acid on it, and give it a quick paint. So we stop the conversion there. Obviously, see what the original paint looked like on the hull, uh, on the walls of the hull, compared to what it looks like now. And it actually does look like the rest of the boat. There is a uh, looks as though yeah, there is there's insulation throughout the the whole boat is insulated, and the um. The engine bay is no exception, which is actually surprising. It's great, but it just means we can't see what's going on behind that. And we will have to hope for the best. All right. All right, here's a bit of a better look at the battery box up close. Um, overall, it's actually a pretty good unit. I just, uh, so this is what they've tried to do is just accommodate batteries that weren't designed to fit inside this space. So I'm sort of hoping we can reuse this because it's a good little unit keep the uh, the battery secure and obviously nothing arcing across that um, and wait and see but this is the uh, the home jobby battery retainer look it's it was probably meant to uh, retain you know some sort of like n150 n200 truck battery and you can sort of see this has gone around the lift of the battery but they've also changed to go back to six oh, sorry four six volt batteries uh, running in a series and look it did a good job of retaining the battery but also didn't work with the original uh, with the original battery covers so uh, now that they're out we're going to have a look at the batteries and we'll, uh, we'll see what we're dealing with hope you enjoyed that guys um, if you want to keep up to date with live progress on the boat just follow me on Instagram and if you dig what I'm doing here it'd be great if you like the uh, vid and maybe subscribe to the channel and I'd love to hear all your comments and get some feedback I've got a heap of content that I'll be putting up really soon, so I'll catch you again soon, guys. Cheers.